Islands. We have the lowest pressure now that we've had since Hurricane Gilbert last year. More about that in just a moment. There you see it out there in the ocean, and we can focus in, show you a closer picture. Classical hurricane, very well-defined eye, moving toward the west about 15 miles an hour. We haven't seen any change in that. We'll let you see yourself what the motion has been as we go back in time, and this is what it's done during the day today. Just about straight toward the west, just a tad north of due west, and that means we're afraid that the eye of this powerful hurricane is going to be somewhere near the Leeward Islands, uh, certainly by this time tomorrow. And we expect to see some warnings put up uh, very likely this afternoon. Let's go and look at the latest particulars, the advisory out of the National Hurricane Center. At 3 o'clock this afternoon, it was centered at 14.7 at 54.8. That was 440 miles east-southeast of the island of Guadalupe. Top winds 30 miles an hour. And the NOAA aircraft found an incredibly low pressure, 918 millibars, or 27.11 inches. So we think that on the 6 o'clock advisory that the winds are going to be up as well. Now, these are where the watches out are in now from uh, St. Lucia down or on up to the American uh, or British Virgin Islands. We expect that's going to be changed to a hurricane warning this afternoon, and very likely the hurricane watch will be extended westward to include Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. The hurricane force winds around the small area around the center. The gales are extending out about uh, 125 miles in all directions. There's Hugo, there's another wave might be developing in the Central Atlantic, more about that later. No kind of organization, lots of thunderstorms in the Western Caribbean, but in the Gulf and the Bay of Campeche, thunderstorms have been increasing down there. Again, though, we don't see any kind of organization. Finally, this is Octavi.